welcome back to EA Sports. And when you're hot, you are hot. And that is the way things have gone for the home team as of late. Let's see if they can keep it going tonight. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Ducks win the opening faceoff, and we are underway with this one. The Leafs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. The Leafs take over on possession. Great poke check on the reach. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Leafs gain control of the puck. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Shot off the mask and he keeps it out. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Marner's hockey IQ is among the league's best guys. We know that. And he uses his deceptive and difficult passes to set up his teammates for the most success. That's his third eye zone ability and that's how he contributes to this club. Great reach with the poke check. And he's knocked off the puck there. Scooped up along the wall by Kalord. Takes a shot. Turns that one away. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still no score in this one. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Strong's called for tripping. He's off to the box. We know this penalty kill unit is ranked towards the bottom of the league, but they've got a chance here, a real great opportunity to turn things around. So let's see what can happen. And a solid job tying up his opponent. The Ducks get a hold of the puck under man. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Sends one up to Yarncroft. Toronto's moving it into the offensive end. The Ducks get a hold of the puck. Nice job to escape the zone. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Hasn't been a very good one so far. Haven't even registered a shot. The tough negated entry. They're going to have to find a way to get in and get set up. And they clear that puck. Tries to feed it over to Logren. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Fires it. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Knocks the puck down with a stick. They clear the zone. Toronto's moving it along the wing. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Carrick's lugging the puck. Toronto's power play comes up empty-handed. We're back to even strength on the ice. You can have all the ozone possession time on a power play in the world and you don't convert. Why? Because that's where you have it, on the outside. You have to find ways to create seams, diagonal lines to the net, be able to shoot off the pass and get scoring opportunities. Moves it quickly over to Fowler. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Leafs cross the line and gain the zone. Too easy with the glove. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Yarncroft's taking it from his own end. Here's a short pass to Domi. Handles the pass. And that's poked away. Anaheim's got the puck. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. Let's get the official decision. The Leafs will lose a man tripping the call. Execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. 
trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Well, James, this power play has not been effective at all, and you can see they're 200 feet from the zone. They have to find a way to have some urgency, gain some speed through the neutral zone so they can get in and get set up. Sends the pass in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Marner's won the draw inside his own end. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Bang on passes center in the neutral zone. Blocked aside. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Anaheim's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. That one's off the blocker. The Leafs are back to even strength here. Well, the PK does a great job, and when you kill a penalty, you create momentum. Great start there. There's a firm collision. Kalorn's got it in the offensive zone. And the puck's put it away. Great pressure on the offensive end by McTavish. He grabs the puck here at the point. Drives to the sweet spot. Oh, and that one pumps up short as he just gets enough of that one. Zone. And that's off target as it hits a body. Takes the feed. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Feeds it up ahead. Puts it on net. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Petrano stick handling in his own zone. Quick pass to McTavish. Anaheim's got it into the offensive zone. The Leafs look to start the transition game. Quick feed to Domi. Stones him in front. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Late goings of this period. Still scoreless in this one. The Leafs win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Leeson's getting called for tripping. Matthews wants to give his team a good look on this power play, guys. One way he can do that is by using his zone ability and hopefully create a scoring chance. Toronto's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Came up with a nice save. Here's a chance to move the puck outside the zone. Gets it out of his own end. Toronto's got the puck. The Leafs have it now. Nylander's got it across the line. Quick shot. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. Poked away in the neutral zone by Leah Bushkin. Feeds it across. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Henrik. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Tries to get it to Nylander. Moves it to Tavares. And that's intercepted by Vetrano. And the puck clears the zone. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Moves it quickly over to Marner. Leeson's back out onto the ice as we are back to even strength here. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned up a notch now. And there's a collision. Gets it right back. but it finally comes to an end with the horn sounding. 20 minutes in the books. What a way to end the frame. We'll get the ice resurfacer out to clean the rink, and we'll be back in just a bit. Fans back in their seats. Teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. Who will be the first to light the lamp here? 
as play gets underway in the second. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Leafs seem to be doing everything right except putting it in the net, James. I mean, this is a scoreless game, one where they've held possession. It can be real frustrating, and they can't let that get the better, and they just got to come out there and play the same way, and it'll eventually go in. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Fowler. Slides the puck over. And now it's grabbed by Kalorn. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Answered the call there. Stops him again. And look at this. They've turned this offensive end into a pressure taker. Face-off coming up here. Now you know that you want to be in possession and you want to keep the pressure on because the goaltender is the only one who can't change and he is the most fatigued guy on the ice. So you want to find ways to get some net front presence, get shots through the net because man, he needs a rest. Covers it up, we'll get a stoppage in play. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. Matthews quick on the draw. Scrum along the boards. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Up along the wing. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there and just crushes him. What a hit. Jabs the puck away. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. And they come up with it as the puck skips out. The Leafs carry it along the wall. Here's a chance! And he's got that one. Denies him again! We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Anaheim's got it behind the net. And he takes the dish. Here they come on the attack. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. The Leafs have it now. Quick pass to Robertson. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Picked up along the boards by McGinn. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. Into the offensive zone. Shot! Nothing doing. Handles the puck. Here he is in front. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. The Leafs gain possession in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. And loses possession after a solid hit. Grabbed along the boards by McGinn. Robertson's determination on the puck, even though he stumbled and has a lack of balance, really shows right there, James, as he finds a way to get that pass through to the shooter. Quick feed to Leeson. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Past the midway mark of the frame, we're still scoreless. The Leafs win the draw. And he loses control here. Anaheim's got a hold of it along the wall. Drysdale's got it along the boards. Anaheim's got the puck against the half wall. And he takes the pass. Here's a shot. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. The Ducks come up with the defensive zone draw. Toronto's got possession of the puck. Anaheim's got the puck in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. 
Toronto's got control of the puck. Fires it into the offensive zone. From off the wall and onto a stick. McTavish has got it along the wing. Out of midair, he slots it down to the ice. Oh, and another save! I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding. Made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Taken along the wall by Tavares. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Toronto's got the puck against the wall. And he shuts the door on that. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Here in the later stages of this period, we've still got zeros on the board. The Ducks win the draw here in their own end. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Picked up along the wall by Bakanainen. Here they come on the attack. Still has possession. The Leafs have it behind the cage. Moves the puck to Marner. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. Grabs the puck. Tries to get the puck over to Jones. And a smart heads up play to put that away by Marner. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Takes a shot. Oh, great save there. Gibson's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Ryan. And that one's stopped. Oh, turned to the side once again. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Moments away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. The Ducks will start off on the attack after winning the draw. And there's the horn, bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. It has been all advantage goalies for the first 40 minutes. Will that change here in the third? Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? What a brilliant performance by both goaltenders. It's just a question of who's going to let in the first goal, the opening goal of this game. I mean, the high-flying offense, you've seen it firing on all cylinders, high octane, but the goaltender's shutting the door. Here's a shot, and that goes off a player. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Drysdale. They've got some momentum here. Comes up with a stop. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still no score in this one. Matthews wins possession in the defensive zone. The Ducks have it against the wall. From one point man to another. Made that stop. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. The Leafs gain control of the puck. Brody's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, singling penalty. Here comes the call. Kalorin's going to the box for tripping. unit goes right back to work. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an urged opportunity. They practice. They know what they're doing. It'll come. A chance to clear. And that's one way to help kill off this penalty as they get the puck out, Cheryl. Well, when you're on the PK unit, you have to be able to anticipate. They do just that. They're able to retrieve the puck and fire it down the ice. Makes no mistake on the clear, James. Hard and heavy on the stick.
They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. The Ducks win the draw. Here's the clearing attempt. And that stays in after trying to play it off the glass. Yeah, and it's tough when you're on the PK, James, and everything around the sequence is good, and then all of a sudden you get the puck on your stick. That's exactly what you work for, and you fail to get it out. That can't happen. Toronto's crossed the line and on the attack. Great use of it. Off the post! Well, a great chance there, James, and an opportunity to get the go-ahead goal, but the pipe gets in the way, and it says, not today. Sends it quickly to Domi. Keeps a hold of the puck. The Leafs take it along the wall. Shot! Oh, what a stop by Gibson! That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. The Ducks' PK unit delivers in a big way. That's a great job by the PK to have the ability to be aggressive and strong on the puck. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. The Ducks have it from their own end. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Moves into the slot. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. Shot! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Goaltender spends so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Dismiss that chance. Scores! And I think he put this in on his own. Uh, he did, James, and this is so deflating when you put it in on your own and you can just see the body language. He is not happy. Oh, these goals are real deflators for the entire team. James thought he had a piece of it and it just dribbles into the back of the net. He wants that one back. The Leafs finally land the icebreaker. Now, will it hold up here, Pounder? Well, you'd expect that it would. I mean, this has been a defensive juggernaut, and they score in the back half of this third period. They've got to carry this momentum forward and try and close it out. Poked away by Fowler. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, they have the lead, and now they've taken a penalty, so now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play is going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit the power play unit goes right back to work. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. They move the puck out of harm's way. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Here they come, down the left side on the attack. Shot, oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Another stop by the goaltender. The Jets are coming up for the next game, and I was just told a little while ago that a few extra seats have been released for this one, so if you haven't got your tickets yet, you know what to do. Good job tangling up his opponent here. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And they get the puck out, and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. Oh, it stops again. Picked up along the boards by Carrick. Anticipate and get across to make that save. Denied that one. Moves it to McTavish. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Gets a piece of it and will play on. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Sends the pass over. 
And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Off his stick. Oh, fantastic save. Lightning quick reflexes. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. He's waiting on his first goal, James, but if the puck stays on his stick like it is tonight, he's sure fire to find a way to the back of the net. Receives the pass. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the club. Nice play there. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Slides the puck ahead to Krieger. Takes the pass. Driving right to the front. Slides the puck across to Strom. Slicks. Personified. Well, that brings the night to an end, and we will say goodbye here from ringside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. I gotta get to bed. See ya.